Hey guys, what's up? This is Apple Investigator here, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a Mac Mini preview. Yes, as I previously announced on my channel, I said that I will be getting a Mac Mini system with upgraded specs uh, within the next couple of weeks. Uh, Christmas is coming, so that day is quickly approaching. But for all you guys out there who may be interested in getting a Mac Mini, we're going to take a closer look at the different configuration options that are available for you guys. So right now we're just on Apple's website and I'm going to select the Mac Mini option. So as you guys can see, um, in October at the iPad Mini event, Apple did some substantial upgrades uh, to this line of desktop computers. And uh, basically they've added some new features uh, on the internals, nothing on the outside, but we've got some new uh, internal components um, that power the system. So now we've got the uh, Intel Ivy Bridge quad core processors. Um, these come in base at Core i5 and they can be upgraded to Core i7. We've also got Thunderbolt and USB 3 availability. And we've also got a higher amount of RAM availability upgrades that are um, available. So if we head over to buy now, I'm just going to show you guys what you guys can do with this system. Because the Mac Mini used to be regarded as a Mac desktop computer that was kind of on the ch cheaper, I mean it still is cheap, but it was considered a lower end Macintosh. And with these upgrades, I have to say that this is more than more than just a little weak computer. This is a powerful machine that you can be using for uh, video editing. If you've got a good processor and a lot of RAM, you can do a lot of things with this computer. So don't uh, underestimate the uh, ability of the Mac Mini. So the base model is a 2.5 gigahertz uh, Intel Core i5, 4 gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive, Intel HD Graphics 4000 and OS 10 Mountain Lion and that will get you going at 599 so that is the base model and if we select that basically what you can do to this is you can upgrade your memory through Apple although I don't recommend this because you can get uh, RAM from third party suppliers for much cheaper and that is the only uh, internal upgrade that can be done if you scroll down here we can see the uh, things that you can buy with your Mac Mini like a keyboard and trackpad and stuff like that but if we head back over to this page and now we will go up up a level to the 2.3 gigahertz Mac Mini this is the quad core i7 model uh, 4 gigs of memory 1 terabyte hard drive Intel HD graphics 4000 and OS 10 mountain line this is running you 799 so let's select this machine and now we're getting a little bit better in terms of specs so the first thing we're going to look at is the processor. So standard is the 2.3 gigahertz Core i7, but this thing can be upgraded to a 2.6 gigahertz quad core i7 for 100 bucks. Now this is the processor upgrade that I have done on my Mac Mini, and if you really want to get optimal performance for video editing and multitasking lots of applications, I highly recommend spending the extra 100 bucks to get the 2.6. In memory, it can be up expanded up to 16 gigs of uh, 1600 megahertz DDR3 RAM, and Apple wants to run you 100 bucks for 8 gigs and 300 for 16 gigs. I've managed to get my hands on some crucial RAM, 16 gigabytes, the uh, 2 by 8 gigabyte kit that costed me 100 dollars, so much cheaper online through a third-party supplier. And then the brand new thing that is creating a lot of talk amongst Mac fans is this new hard drive option. So basically you've got your one terabyte serial ATA drive at 5400 RPM. That's your base uh, one terabyte hard drive. But then there's this new option here and it's called the one terabyte fusion drive. And what this is, it is a basically a new hard drive that Apple has come out with and it's a mix between SSD and um, and a normal hard drive so you get really the best of both so with this combination of uh, flash storage and and your your normal memory this thing is going to be fast it's going to have a very fast data transfer and um, copying and moving files will be extremely fast and you could multitask probably like you could open up like 30 or 40 apps and this thing would launch them all very fast so 
This is a very expensive option, however, and the Fusion Drive is going to run you about $250. So if you're really serious about this, go for that. If it's not something you're interested in, I'd just stick with the 5400 RPM like I did. And like I said, I, I upgraded to the 2.6 gigahertz and the 16 gigs of memory through a third party supplier. Now the final Mac Mini that Apple uh, has at your availability is the quad core i7 server model. So 2.3 gigahertz quad core, four gigs of RAM, two one terabyte hard drives, Intel HD graphics 4000, OS 10 mountain lion, and it is also a server. So that will run you 999. So that's $200 up from the base 2.3 gigahertz model. And then once you're in there, you can select all the same upgrades as the uh, 2.3 gigahertz quad core i7 model. So those are the configuration options that are currently available uh, for the brand new Mac Mini. There are no changes to the machine on the outside, but this thing packs a punch on the inside. And uh, it looks like a very nice computer, and I look forward to getting my hands on one of these. So if you guys like this video, please comment, rate, subscribe. I've got many videos coming on the Mac Mini and some other new gadgets maybe at Christmas time. So if you like this, like I said, comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.